Hawaiian Airlines taking an earnings hit in the third quarter. The company reporting a $9.3 million loss. But some light ahead. COVID travel restrictions out of Japan are easing. Hawaiian Airlines CEO Peter Ingram says this sets the stage for a full restoration of the airline's network in the coming months. The best dressed CEO in the business joining us now. Always good to see you, sir. Uh, strong earnings from American and United and Delta had expectations up. What were the biggest headwinds for you? Well, we, we really did see some uh, mixed signs across our, uh, our business. We've had a very strong recovery in our North America to Hawaii markets, which is the biggest part of our revenue generation. Um, really, the, you know, there's no question that's been back for several quarters. Uh, holding things back a little bit is uh, our two parts of our network. One is um, neighbor island where demand is actually strong, but we've got uh, a competitive situation with uh, low fares in that part of the um, the network that are suppressing financial returns. And then Japan uh, in the third quarter wasn't fully recovered. It's going to take a little time to get back. The good news is that at the beginning of October, they have uh, removed some of the pandemic travel restrictions in Japan. And so the environment is really set up now to have a more robust recovery over the next couple of quarters. And Japan is the biggest source of international visitors to Hawaii. It's very important to the market and important to us. Peter, you touched on the competition there from a local competitor, aggressive pricing. I know you also talked about this on the earnings call last night. What are you doing then to compete? Because they are offering fares at very, very low prices. Well, we're, um, we're we're matching the fares on uh, on many of our uh, flights, so we've got pretty broad availability of those discounted fares. But on top of that, uh, we offer a uh, a broader and deeper schedule. Uh, we we you know, really want to focus on delivering impeccable service to our guests. Uh, we've uh, doubled our Hawaiian miles that we offer to our guests to reward our loyal passengers. So. Um, we're going to make sure that uh, we give people reason to uh, fly Hawaiian, whatever the fair price environment is. We want to make sure that, that when people have a choice, they choose Hawaiian, as they have for 93 years traveling between the islands. So we're no stranger to competition, and uh, we're just going to face it head on. Yeah, $39 fares, that's a burger and a beer in New York City these days. Uh, the deal with Amazon, how significant an investor story is that? And can you tell us more about the option to acquire up to 15% of your stock? We're really excited uh, to be able to announce this agreement with Amazon. It's been in the works for a number of months, and uh, it's great to, uh, to be able to talk about it now. Mm -hmm. uh, it really means a couple of things fundamentally for us going forward. One is that it's an avenue for growth in the years ahead. And so it, it really opens up a, uh, a new channel for us to grow the business uh, in a little bit of a different way. And it also helps us uh, diversify our business. Uh, you know, this uh, business with Amazon won't be uh, facing the same uh, risks and challenges that we have in the passenger business. That doesn't mean it's risk free, but it is uh, a little bit of diversification, which is um, good when you're dealing with, you know, the ups and downs of, of an economic cycle. So we're, we're contracted now to fly 10 airplanes uh, for on behalf of Amazon. We'll be flying uh, between airports that are near their large distribution centers. Most of this will be on the U.S. mainland. Some of it is, is likely to touch Hawaii over time. And there's an opportunity to grow beyond that. And it's up to us to, uh, to perform and deliver impeccable service and to operate on time. So uh, Amazon chooses to uh, in, you know, pick ups to do more of their flying going forward. Yeah, JPM, uh, JP Morgan calling it a game changer here for your business. Peter, when you take a look at staffing, and I know we've talked with you about it in the past, the pilot shortages, what you're doing, what, what that currently looks like for your business. Have you seen any improvement? We, we've really seen some, some good traction being gained here in terms of being able to, uh, to staff up. We've been hiring pilots and flight attendants and other employees throughout the year. Uh, in terms of pilots right now, uh, we're, we're able to recruit the pilots we, uh, we need. And, you know, part of that is because uh, we've got a lot of wide body aircraft and wide body aircraft are uh, at the end of the day, what pilots get paid the most uh, to fly. So we've got a pretty compelling economic proposition. 
Uh, we've uh, we've improved a lot in terms of being able to recruit mechanics and airport employees here in Hawaii. Uh, that's been a tight market, but um, but we're uh, moving along. And over the course of the whole year, you know, we're up to close to 1,500 positions filled, and that's at a company where our total employment is about 7,200 right now. Mm-hmm. So uh, a, a lot of activity from our recruiting department, and they're doing a good job, but it is a dynamic market, and you've got to make sure you've got a a uh, compelling proposition and that you've got a company that people want to work for. And that's something we're we're really focused on making sure that we're an employer that is a desired destination in a competitive market. Peter Ingram, always great to have you. Thanks so much for coming on after earnings. We hope you join us again next quarter. Peter Ingram, CEO of Hawaiian Holdings.